Hello everyone, this is Vizzle for Team. Welcome me back to another episode. Let's play as Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And, uh, I know in the last episode I probably mentioned that I would, uh, meet you on that, uh, vertical shaft going down on the right. Um, however, uh, I think I'm gonna take care of my stuff up here first, so. Um, I'm right at the, uh, long vertical shaft that I could uh, only get up with the uh, bat form, but because this is going to be the hardest boss here in the first castle, at least uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, I went and um, I bought myself a diamond plate because I definitely have enough gold for it. Um, when I uh, get... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when I get to the uh, actual boss, um, I think I will take off the secret boots and uh, put on the uh, metal. Because I'm going to need as much offense and especially defense as I can get. So, But um, right now, um, the fairy is, uh, is going to be good enough. Um, we're going to be getting another uh, familiar here. Uh, let's just, uh, check out, uh, the levels. Okay. Yeah, I'll be getting my, uh, fourth, um, familiar up here. Um, there is, uh, five in total in the game. Um, this by far is, uh, my actual favorite one. Um, I'm gonna be leaving this guy on, uh, even more than the fairy, um, when you uh, face some of the bosses, of course, uh, you're probably going to want to switch back to the fairy, but uh, for right now, uh, this guy is uh, definitely going to be uh, good enough for me, so. Okay. And uh, we're going to be coming up on those uh, urns. Uh, of course, don't get those uh, just yet. Um, We'll be uh, coming back here eventually, so... Um, the only un unfortunate thing is that uh, by the time we really have to come back here, um, we're, uh, we're not going to be needing as much gold or anything. And uh, <laughs> if you watch those uh, iron bars behind there, um, you'll see some guys that uh, have been basically stuck in here for God knows how long, so. Yeah. Can't hit him. Put him out of their misery, but. I kind of wonder, uh. If, like, uh, the one behind me, if, uh. One of those guys could kind of crawl out where it's uh, kind of broken down in the lower right hand corner, but... And, uh, if you change into a bat and, uh, go all the way up there, those spikes will hurt you, so... Let's see... There's an extra reason why I got the, uh, bat form, uh, when I came over here, so... Of course, it'd be uh, almost impossible to get up that thing, but unless you, uh, no, I guess not. Uh, I was thinking that uh, if you have the long mist form, but um, you of course can't get the long mist form unless you have the bat. So okay, and uh, over here, these things uh, we can't go through them, even though it uh, looks like we uh, we probably could. So. That's gonna be one over here. <coughs> um, there is um a boss um in this general area, and uh, also um the way that we can get over to the left side of the castle again. So, um. I think I'll be heading over uh, towards the left side of the castle first. Um, I might um, 
change it to the unmissed format, just uncover a... Uh, no, maybe not. Um, I was thinking that I'd uncover that uh, little block that I have before, but... Um, I guess I really don't have to. Um, I think um, when I am done with the uh, boss here, though, um, I think uh, what I'll do is uh, I will get my uh, areas that I couldn't cover uh, in the Coliseum without the long mist form. Uh, well, I could, but uh, it'd be very dangerous, too, so... But... We have a uh, couple of places that we can uh, uh, go in the uh, bat form here, so. It's mainly just to uncover places, but. And I know uh, right now I don't have to actually bother with, uh, with getting hearts or anything, but uh, I figured I might as well, so. Nothing over here, so there will be uh, another spot that's uh, kind of been kind of able to be broken by the bat. Um, I think that the uh, fairy will uh, will go up and say her thing when uh, when we get close to, close to that area. It's uh, it's on the ceiling, but I don't know. So I know where it is uh, even without her. So. And eventually, we're uh, going to be coming back here and uh, um, uncovering uh, the stuff here uh, that's like in the middle of the screen um, with the bat form, kind of like uh, we did with the uh, places to the upper right um, before we got to the clock tower. Um, uh, however, um, I think I'll just do that off screen, so. But. Okay, we're. Uh, could be facing a horse. Um, I can't remember uh, if it's uh, this light or uh, the one right next to it, but uh, we want to say a little bit of ways. Because uh, there's going to be a horse that will uh, kind of gallop at me with, uh, with a skeleton rider. Um, if we're far enough away, he won't uh, actually hit us or anything. Um, and we can take him out with uh, a couple of sword sites, but... Oh. And he doesn't uh, refill HP when it goes off screen, so... Because this is basically considered the same one, so... There's gonna be uh, one on the other side, so... And up here, um, unlike the last one, there's, uh, no gold bag for us to get, so. But, got to be, uh, a little careful. Okay. I was thinking the, uh, night came a little farther down, but... Oh well. Again, I don't I don't have to get uh, the hearts or anything right now, but I figured uh, since they're uh, cure anyway, so so for us, uh, there aren't uh, any more real hard enemies for me to face here, but okay. Uh, coming up, uh, pretty close there's going to be another, uh, place the fairy, I think, goes up to the ceiling and, and it says that, uh, she sees something, so. Shoot. The holy water, uh, didn't suck so much that I pick it up. Um, actually, um, now that I think about it, um... I'm going to be uh, cheating for the actor eventually, and, uh... I think, um... The Holy Water might actually be a little better uh, against, uh... 
this guy that I'm uh, thinking here, so. Um, when I exit out here, um, I think I'll uh, pick up another one of those, but. Must be oh. Hmm. Thought she uh, says something, but maybe it's like another familiar or something. We could take that thing out if we, uh, if we had the axe, so. The sword card. This one is, uh, probably my favorite uh, familiar, so. Doesn't really have any, uh, direct attack or anything, but, uh, it just flies around randomly and, uh, swings around on... It's not extremely powerful or anything, but, uh, if you, uh, don't know exactly where to focus your attacks, um, it can find a weak point, so. But, I thought the, uh, fairy really, uh, said something there, but, I guess not, so. Oh, well. And now we can get to uh, the left side of the castle from here, so. But we are definitely not going to do that right now. Um, if you took care of your stuff in the underground and they came this way, then you could uh, probably do it. Um, but, eh, really, uh, we have uh, better ways to uh, get over there, so. Okay. Here we go. I'm really hoping that the, uh... Shit. I'm really hoping that the, uh... Um... Sword and, uh... In combination with, um, the holy water, uh, works really well against this guy. Because this guy is uh, definitely the hardest one, so... Again, in my opinion, but... Uh. And again, uh, we can get to the uh, far left there uh, to pick up uh, the stuff there, but... I guess that's, uh, there if you, uh, did not pick up the holy water, or... I wonder if, uh, that might be a little better, but... Yeah... Probably not, so... <laughs> okay. And, uh, right up here, um... This spot, um, is... Really, uh, one of the best places, uh... For the dog form, um... Or wolf, if you have it. Um, you can also uh, fit through there if you uh, just wanted to switch to the bat, but. Uh -huh. Okay. We have a uh, boss on the other side. 